What's up everybody? AZ Legend Adventures here and today we're going to be making a kayak ramp but right now it's still pretty raw. I just get out and I pull my kayaks all the way up the dirt and the grass and after a while it's starting to tear up my, my kayaks. I'll show you exactly what we're coming through here now. Look at all this nice little trail I've been making and cutting out here. Flattened all this out. There we go. So this used to be just one big hump here so I cut all out. Got a nice trail here. You keep carving here, we'll put some steps for everybody. Get all this grass out. So, right here is my egg. Nice little spot. Kind of has a little natural ramp coming out of it already. But it is kind of a pain. Through the grass, it's not bad pulling the kayaks. Right here on the grass. But I really do not like pulling it through the dirt or anything. So, I'm going to make a like a railroad track with some PVC pipes from here all the way up. I'm going to set it on and be able to just slide it quick as fast as I can walk. All right, so right here I got some grade four inch and a quarter thick PVC pipe, underground sunlight resistant. It's going to be outside. So like I said, I'm going to connect them together. I got 10 of them all together. So I should be able to do 50 feet, five on each side, 10 feet, 10 feet in length. And then also got rebar. I'm going to stick the rebar in the ground and then just set that drill holes in the bottom and set it right on top of the rebar. Now the bottom of the kayak is six inches wide. That is the, the length of the skag. Then it drops down to the flat part of the kayak. So we're going to make it at least six inches so it falls right in then. And we're going to just slide those kayaks. All the way back up to my exit. My car is usually parked right up there on top of the hill. So next, I'll find the exact line I want. I'm going to take the rebar, stick it in the ground, and then drill holes, flip it over, stick it on right on top of the rebar, and it'll just sit right at the top of there. We'll see how that holds. Yeah, we're going to take our rebar like so, put it in the ground. The kayak is six inches wide on the bottom so we'll do about six and a half apart and i don't have a normal hammer so i'm using this axe slash sledgehammer but it'll work all right so after several months of using this i've done some just easy modifications such as just putting a few pieces of wood across I just cut out the centers a little bit so the kayak doesn't rub and they're screwed on. And this is one just to level it out. The rebar was going, was knocking into the ground. Here's a good example. This one's just going across, it's holding it. And I've uh, screwed it down so it's not going anywhere and it's going to keep that length right there. I didn't really want to go and spend more extra money on material so why not just use the wood that's around us? Well, it's been very sturdy and very helpful. 